In this video, we're gonna to try to recreate a trippy film called Lomochrome Purple. Originally, it was developed by this company called Lomography, and they describe this as a trippy emulsion that yields spectacular psychedelic scenes. They go on to say, blue becomes green, green becomes purple, and yellow becomes pink. Red tones stay red though, which keeps skin tones looking natural in a sea of trippy hues. And you can just see from the photos on their website how trippy this looks. Um, so Lomochrome Purple film is available in 35mm, 120 and 110 formats. So they suggest shooting with ISO 400, but they also say you can shoot between 100 and 400 and depending on which ISO you choose, it's going to mess with the colors very slightly. This film looks really fun to shoot with. It's not something I would shoot with on a daily basis. I could definitely see using this film in like a photo shoot to kind of create a unique type of look. This is not something I would shoot with all the time. I feel like having a, a preset for this would be great because if I want to use the effect, I can easily use it and I don't have to go out and buy a whole roll of film to create the effect. All right, so let's jump into Photoshop. So this is one of the pictures we're going to work with today. So the first thing we need to do is create that purple look. So how do we do that? Um, so we're going to go over to our adjustments panel. Um, we're going to add a channel mixer. Um, so we have three channels in here. We have the red, green, and blue. Um, so we're going to be working with the green and the blue. So basically we're going to inverse those to create the purple look. So we're going to hop into green. We're going to reduce the green to 0%. And then blue, we're going to add 100. So that's basically going to switch those two channels. And then we'll go to our blue. And we're going to do the same thing. So blue, we're going to bring that down to 0. And then green, we're going to bring that up to 100. This is the main effect that we're going for. Um, but obviously, we want to fine tune this a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my green channel. So we're just going to mess with the red a little bit and see what kind of effect that has on the image. So if I bring this down more, it's just going to create more of a purple look, which I do not want. So I want to I want to soften this up a little bit, and I'm going to go up to we're going to go up to five for this. I like how that looks. And then let's go down to the blue. And again, we're gonna mess with the red. And we can just try sliding it in two different directions. So if I slide it to the right, it's gonna create more purple. If I go to the left, it's gonna slowly add some more yellow to it. Um, so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with negative five for this. Okay, so I like how that looks. Um, that's a little less harsh than we had before. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go into Vibrance and Saturation. So the next few adjustments are going to be more of my personal adjustments. I want to create more of a natural skin tone. Um, since the, the film is naturally known to create a stable skin tone, so we want to try to go for that effect. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the vibrance down. I'm going to go to negative 12 for vibrance and for saturation. I'm also going to do the same thing. Okay, so I think that looks, I feel like that looks a little bit better. So I can go in further and reduce that skin tone, make it more natural. Um, so we're going to go to adjustments. We're going to go to hue and saturation. And this time we're gonna mess with the reds. So skin tones are normally on the red channel. So I'm gonna mess with my hue and just see what kind of effect that has on the image. All right, so if I go slightly right, it, I feel like I get a better skin tone. Um, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with five for this one. Um, and then as far as saturation, again, I wanna bring that saturation down just a little bit in the reds. All 
So we'll go with negative 5. So next we have lightness. Um, for this I'm going to just bump this up just a little bit. So we're going to go with plus 4. So I think this looks pretty good. If we go back to our original image, you can see there's our original image. And we basically created the effect without messing too much with the skin tone, um, which I think is very important to do. So the last thing we need to do is export this loop file. So what we do is we click on our background layer. Um, we're gonna go up to file and we're going to export color lookup tables and we can change the description so for the description i'll just put this as a loma chrome purple um, we're going to export it as a cube and we're going to hit ok um, now we can save this I'm going to save this as Lomo Chrome Purple. Okay, so that's exported. Um, so I threw a bunch of images into Photoshop and we're just going to apply this loot to these images and just to see what kind of effect we get. So to apply the loot, we go to Adjustments, we go to Color Lookup Table, and we're going to find our loot file. So I'm just going to go to my desktop. And you can see there's the effect applied, which I think looks pretty cool. So let's take a look at some before and after of this effect. I have this preset available on my website, so go ahead and download it. Um, also hit the subscribe button because each week I'm going to be releasing additional presets. And you can also find this preset on my Instagram, at Kurt Vaughn. Um, I create these presets and then turn them into Instagram filters as well.